Too Good To Go. Too Good To Go is a food waste reducer. This amazing app was released back in 2016 and connects you with nearby cafes and restaurants that have unsold food going to waste, saving you both money and the environment. After selecting a time window to pick up your meal and paying a small fee through the app, you receive a delicious goodie bag filled with freshly made items from nearby Starbucks, for example. It's a win-win situation because you can get a cheap lunch or dinner and the restaurant you're picking up from won't be able to sell the food for very long. Recently, Too Good To Go passed the milestone of saving 200 million meals from going to waste worldwide. Vinted. Vinted is the place to buy used clothing. Well, since they still largely rely on home delivery, clothing retailers like Vinted and its former rival Depop aren't entirely guilt-free options. However, there's no denying that the second-hand clothing market is far more convenient than eBay and far superior to purchasing new clothing. Searching through the listings to find pre-loved clothing is easy, and selling is made easier by the app's ability to create postage labels and the lack of selling fees. Naturally, the thrill of digital thrifting is also part of the experience, and according to Vinted's own data, 39% of its transactions result in the avoidance of buying new apparel. Tree app. It might hook us tech enthusiasts as well now that it's expanded to video games and gaming consoles. It's Tree app, the carbon capture app. Although there isn't a simple solution to stop climate change, reforestation is one of our best options. Tree app, which is currently only available in the UK, allows you to plant trees for free with just your iOS or Android smartphone. Ecosia, see further down, is an alternative if you live outside of the UK. Simply select a tree planting project from within the app, view three brief commercials from TreeApp's partners, and the partner will provide funding for the app to plant one of the more than 150 species at various locations throughout the world. With just four years of operation under its belt, TreeApp has already planted 4.2 million trees in 17 countries, absorbing nearly 600,000 tons of CO2. This information is part of the company's 2024 impact report, which was recently released. NASA Earth Now. The kind of advertisements we are willing to watch instead of ignoring are those. NASA Earth Now is the climatologist. This NASA app should help you understand why it's a good idea to incorporate eco-conscious habits into your life on a deeper level. Earth Now displays the most recent information on the global climate, including carbon dioxide concentrations and forest fire-related carbon monoxide peaks all superimposed on a three-dimensional model of our small blue planet. The vital signs menu of the app offers some impressive climate-related insights, if you can resist getting distracted by spinning the globe inside the app. They provide you with color-coded overlays of various data maps and informative explanations of what each one represents in terms of global warming. The app's interface is a little dated now that it was released in 2012, but it's still a great little teacher for both young and old. When to plug in. When to plug in is the one for charging technology. As it is created by the National Grid, this carbon intensity app is regrettably limited to users in the United Kingdom. Nonetheless, it's a great illustration of how a data-driven app can reduce your carbon footprint and help you save a little money. When to plug in uses real-time data on electricity generation to determine the greenest time for you to use your power. Put differently, it can tell you when the next clean slot is because it knows when renewable energy sources like solar and wind power are most active. Well, it's not the most elegant app ever, and you won't always be able to follow its recommendations. But, if you're enrolled in a smart meter tariff, you may also be able to save a few bucks on your non-urgent power needs, like your dishwasher or electric vehicle. Happy Cow Happy Cow is a restaurant locator. Finding the best plant-based restaurants can be challenging if you're a vegetarian or vegan visiting a new city. In most major cities, Happy Cow, $3.99 per £4.99, can help you find the best spots because of its robust community and constantly updated maps. Since Happy Cow was founded in 1999, it has had ample opportunity to amass a substantial body of information for vegetarians and vegans. And regardless of your dietary preferences, you can reduce the amount of water used and carbon dioxide emissions that come from eating meat-based meals by using the restaurant recommendations found in the thousands of listings spread across 185 countries. Blablacker. Blablacker is the one for carpooling. Due to the pandemic, carpooling saw a significant decline as few people chose to travel or enjoy spending time in the backseat of a stranger. Now, though, it's headed back, and Popperide, a comparable service in Canada, is part of Blablacker one of the largest apps for connecting travelers. 
Blablaka will match you with people who are traveling the same route on the same day after you enter your location and destination, allowing you to split the cost and reduce your overall emissions. As an alternative, you can reserve a bus ticket using the app. Some countries and regions have less use of Blablaka than others, so depending on where you live, your options for ride-sharing might be limited. In the US, carpooling hasn't really taken off either. However, the idea makes sense once more. And according to Blablaka's most recent impact report, there were 26 million active members in 2022, and the company reportedly saved 1.5 million tons of CO2 emissions.